Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we will discuss the various types of hunting blinds. From box blinds and ladder stands, to pop-ups and makeshift blinds. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. When I start looking at all the different stands we built from the common, simple, let's just throw five pieces of brush up here and hide by this tree to some of the most extravagance we could build uh, with, with you know feeders in the area and food plots in the area. All of them have a special meaning and all of them are enjoyable at the end of the day. And, and I just, I, I love that aspect of it. I mean, I think it goes back to building forts as a little kid, whether it's out of cardboard boxes, or uh, you know, building brush to, to hide when you're playing cowboys and Indians. And you know, I sit here today in my 50s and I, I still like to build forts and, and deer blinds just as much now as I did then. You know, some of the most simple blinds a person can put together, just take a couple of pallets, uh, spray paint them a little bit to kind of get some of the shine off of them for a future hunt, throw some brush up around them, and, and you're gonna find success with those. And I've even seen those go to massive levels where you put all kinds of brush around them, pop-ups, I mean, you can buy pop-ups at every different place you can. I mean, the Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops lines of pop-ups that we use are, are designed to really maximize what I like in one. Uh, I've got places I can put brush on them, loops on them. They're big enough that me, a camera guy, and, and another person can sit in there at times. You've got the multitude of window configurations, which I, I'm a big fan of, because I can uh, black some of them out or I can just use the mesh on others. Uh, I mean, they're such an important part of hunting from their portability, their durability, and, and their ability to conceal you in a lot of different situations. And then you can fast forward to the box blinds of today. Box blinds have really evolved. Then there's guys that go build their own and take into, uh, take into all that account. But for, for my money, a, a product like a muddy blind, I mean, it is well designed. You've got a lot of little features built in there, a mix of window configurations for a rifle or a bow hunter or handgun hunter or crossbow hunter. Uh, and the, the design of them is inherently thought out by hunters to be able to give you different options that you can set up on whether you're putting it in a big food plot, uh, you're, you're sticking it off in the brush where you're going to be cutting some darrows. doesn't really matter. And, and you can adjust them. You can put them on the ground or you can raise them up on towers. So regardless of what you're looking for, uh, those muddy blinds, you know, they're, they're designed straight off the shelf, for lack of a better word, by manufacturers to allow you success. You know, when you look at the size of some of these blinds you know this muddy blind that i'm standing right here i mean you can go inside this door and now i can open and close some of these windows that are right here for bow hunting handgun hunting or whatever it may be right in and out here you know and, and stand at full draw and basically be able to shoot i can shoot a handgun i can shoot a rifle whatever and you can look all the way around this blind at the different you know configurations and, and what you've got to do as a consumer is find the size of blind and the window configuration that worked for the hunting location that you're planning on setting it up. You know, as you look further into these blinds, I'm gonna walk my way down. You can you can look at the different options. You know, this one here, we're we're setting it up so that we can lock it down and anchor it down. You know, we use T posts on the side to wire them around. Uh, you can screw anchors down into the sides. You know, you want these to be able to withstand some pretty good thunderstorms because we all know out in the in remote locations you're gonna have crazy weather come through. And, and once you get them set up, you want them to be, be here for a long time. And these big muddy blinds like this one right here and the way they're built and the, the quality construction, if you take care of it and you set it up, you're gonna, you should get decades of usage out of this. I mean, it's, it's a place and a, a situation and a product that's just well designed to, to ensure you can use it for a long time. When we return, we'll tour the Muddy Factory and see how their blinds are built. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. 
We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Before the break, we were talking about box blinds, specifically the ones from Muddy Outdoors. We got a chance to go to one of their factories where they assemble and ship these high-quality blinds. Let's take a look. We're actually in Parsons, Tennessee, and we've been here about four months. As of right now, they're just assembled here and eventually will be manufactured here. Okay, now we actually have a, a carousel here, which actually they'll put all the panels and stuff together on the panels, uh, paint the sides and stuff, and eventually it'll get set in the floor where the roof is put on, uh, the windows and stuff's put in, it's caulked and ready for shipping. Uh, we have one that's called the Gunner Blind, which is actually a four by four and which is a four-winded blind. Now the 6x6, which is our best seller, which it has uh, vertical windows in it, which is eight windows total, and which is bow hunting capable. Uh, we have the penthouse, which is a six by seven and a half. You know, the installation to me is a good selling feature. I mean, especially around here in Tennessee, you know, it gets cool in the winters and stuff. And, uh, the windows. The windows to me is a good seller. I mean, eight windows in a blind gives you 360 degree visibility and good sound deadening. Well, they all got the keeper latch which holds the window up and real easy accessible as far as flipping three knobs and, you know, one-handed operation as far as raising and lowering the window. Now, they actually had just started putting uh, three hinges and two locks on the door which which is a great access because it's actually pulling the door tighter together and you know, keeps more bugs and stuff out, and which it'll be a, a good thing that'll last. As far as everybody seeing them and stuff, they really love them. Visit GoMuddy.com to learn more. Having a muddy blind himself, let's hear from Wade on his favorite features as well as some tricks he does to further conceal himself and others. A few things that I like to do when I'm in a box blind. I like to have a small shooting bag with me, and sometimes I'll even go bigger, but I just carry it in my backpack to put in the different windows that I think I'm going to shoot up. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be shooting out one of these other windows, but this is my primary window, so I keep it set up right here. It's quiet to set the gun on. It gives me a good rest for longer distance shots. When I do get in a box blind, some of the other things I do is I kind of set it up where my gun is leaning up against something. I'm going to have my rangefinder out to where I can you know, quickly pop off some distances before then. And, you know, my backpack with my water or any other supplies will be readily available as well. You know, when you get into these box blinds, it's a whole different type of hunting that, that I really, really enjoy. I also like to use either you know camo tarps or some of the different products that come with the blind to black out certain windows to, so you're not skylighted all the time. I think that's really important, um, especially like if you're hunting on a food plot and you know that the front action is going to be in these five windows, well then black out two or three in the back. That allows you to be able to move and bob and weave in there a little bit. And, and for our standpoint, the camera guy's always moving because if he's not moving to get the shot, I mean, y'all don't even see what happens. So you want those capabilities and abilities uh, in there. And then the the ability to open and close windows silently and securely is, is really a key deal at the end of the day. It's something that a lot of people don't think of that I think is really important. You want to be able to lock those windows up and doors up um, airtight when you're gone so undesirable creatures are not in your blind uh, when you get back there. As we talk about hunting stands and locations, our friends from Yamaha want to make sure you get to and from your stand safely. If you're riding an ATV or side-by-side, -side, make sure you're doing the following. 
Wear your helmets and seat belts, clothing to cover your entire body like gloves and long sleeve shirts and pants, and eye protection to protect yourself from any unwanted debris that may kick up. Just a friendly reminder from Yamaha to keep you safe while enjoying the outdoors. When we return, we'll switch gears and talk about ladder stands and the fun accessories to help you have a more enjoyable hunt. Deer Gear is brought to you by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Stealth Cam, proven. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine. And next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. The Thompson Center Compass 2. A feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle. Offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers. From the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. After going over hunting out of a box blind, let's turn our attention upwards to ladder stands. Ladder stands can be used in areas where it may be more beneficial to be above the line of sight of your game or if you need a tall vantage point. When you start looking at uh, ladder stands and hang on stands, not every tree is going to be designed for the specific stand that you're messing with. And then once you start putting it up, obviously you got to be in a place you think you're going to find deer, otherwise why put it up? Then safety has to come into play. Make sure you get it anchored down, make sure you're, you know, thinking about all those things. You, know, you hear a lot of people talk about tree stand safety, uh, but they probably don't practice it enough. And I want to make sure it's anchored down. I want straps around it. I want a lifeline to get up and down on. I want to be tethered in when I'm, when I'm up there. Uh, and I want to know that the tree stand and the ladder are working as one. That tree's in good shape and we've taken every precaution and every step we possibly can to get that ladder in place, get it secured. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. Even when the wind's blowing 20 or 30 miles an hour, all we gotta worry about is where that deer is. When up in a ladder stand, you are definitely limited on where you can store your gear. With a box blind or pop-up, you have room to spread out, but not in a ladder stand. If you're lucky, the trees around you have strong enough limbs that you can hang your bow, binoculars, or whatever else. To combat that, our friends at Hawk Hunting have a few products that can solve this very problem. First up is the Hawk Extendable Tree Arm. Made from aircraft grade aluminum, the lightweight extendable tree arm extends from a trim 8.5 inches to 16.5 inches in length. Hawk's famous auger tip threads make installation quick and painless. The patent-pending anti-spin tree cam lever bites into bark and eliminates unwanted spinning or movement of the arm. Once installed, the arm pivots 180 degrees for precision weapon and gear placement. The oversized silent grip hook silently and securely hangs gear. The extendable tree arm also includes claw hanging hooks allowing for versatile attachment and quick gear organization. Hawk also has a wide variety of tree hooks, like the Tactical Solo Tree Hook. This is no typical tree hook. The Tactical Tree Hook features ultra-sharp auger tip threads that start fast and allow for easy screwing into the densest of hardwoods. No more pain in the hand! The 2.75 inch hook weighs just 2.1 ounces and can hold up to 60 pounds. Each hook is molded with a durable, quiet finish and includes a thread-protecting cap with an attached carabiner that makes transporting the hook a snap. Visit hawkhunting.com to check out all the tree hunting accessories that Hawk has to offer. 
Another handy tool that you could easily carry in your backpack when going up into a ladder stand is this Hunter's Combo Pack from Hunting Made Easy. It contains a 5 or 7 inch folding saw and a pair of heavy duty bypass shears. These products work in tandem to cut off any pesky tree limbs that might be in your way. Visit hmeproducts.com for more info. When we return, we'll finish the show by talking about pop-up blinds. Stay tuned. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Sense, Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors, 10-point crossbows, perfection lives here. This changes everything. The Ultra Compact Vapor RS 470. The AccuSlide Safety Cocking System revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Its reverse draw design generates 470 feet per second. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The all new Vapor RS 470 from 10 Point. Throughout this episode, we have gone over almost all kinds of blinds from your makeshift blinds to box blinds. In the last segment, we went over the popular ladder stand and some versatile tools to make your ladder stand more enjoyable during the hunt. But there's one more type of stand that we haven't talked about yet that is a perfect substitute when a ladder stand just won't do. You know, I love to be up elevated in a stand. Um, tree stand, ladder stands, you know, leaning ladders, whatever it may be. I just, I love that feeling. You know, you can see things, you got the fresh air blowing in you, you got a little more freedom in those situations. The reality is, there's not always a perfect tree where the deer want to be to be able to do that. And that's where the pop-up comes in. And basically a pop-up is, I mean, you can argue this all day long. It's the most versatile hunting stand that you're possibly going to find. Um, in a pop-ups, boy, they come in a lot of different shapes, sizes, designs, fabrics, uh, and, and each one of them plays and offers a great uh, asset to you as the hunter. Say you're just going to a location for a quick hunt, you're not coming back there, you know, the, some of the, the pr many price point models out there are probably going to work perfect for you. Flip that to another scenario where you're going to be hunting a property all year long, you're going to want to invest in one that's going to withstand all the elements, the changes that are going to be coming in. Uh, probably going to get one a little bit bigger. I mean, we've used little small one-man ones up to some that I think we could have had a family reunion in. Uh, windows at all angles, different types of, of setups within them. And, and that's the cool thing about pop-ups is you can find one that's going to fit and for the situation that you're going to be hunting in. For me personally, 95% uh, of the time we're going to use it for filming. Uh, it's not uncommon for there to be a need for three people in, in the pop-up, so we like a big one. I like the most durable fabric that I possibly can find so that we're not taking it down at the end of the hunt. That's not always going to be possible for some people that may be hunting a public land where they have to take it down, but you know, we're primarily hunting properties that we've got the ability to leave them up for long periods of time. I like a window system with lots of options. I want to be able to raise and, and lower the windows at will, um, be able to totally black some out. Um, I like a, a hub system that is built to last, built to withstand those big winds, built to withstand rain that could pull up on top. Um, and then it's a personal thing for me. I like those, those pop-ups that have the little 
Um, the ability outside, they've got basically fabric sewn into them so that I can shove sticks in them and create 3D uh, looks to our blinds. Because once again, you're hiding a camera, you're hiding a hunter, you're hiding me in there who wants to see everything. And all of those things together, you know, allow us in a pop-up to be able to place it in a multitude of situations to be able to find the one that works for us. And I promise you, if you get to start to doing research, uh, you can go to BassProShops.com, Cabela's.com, and you're going to find a wide range of pop-ups available to suit your needs out there. Just think about what you're going to use it for. Think about how long you're going to use it for. Think about carrying it in long distances and think about, you know, being able to tie it down, anchor it down, or pick it up real fast. Pop-ups are, without a question, one of the easiest, coolest, best, most versatile ways to set up for any type of a hunting situation. Let's join Clark Winlitz as he shows us exactly where to put a pop-up to be the most successful. Anybody that's successful in hunting spends a lot of time trying to figure out where to kill a certain deer from. Well, in this show, we're gonna actually show you what our thought process is on why we're hunting here. We're hunting a clearing that we've always seen a ton of deer in. There's no big trees here. When you look at a place to actually put up a pop-up, you gotta think of the wind and how the deer are gonna get in the clearing and where you think they're gonna be according to the wind. We're setting this up mainly for a north wind. If we got a southwest wind, we think it'd work also. The good thing we got here is, is there's tons of thick, thick cover. And that cover is so thick that deer almost won't even go through it. Now, it's not that they can't go through it, but where would they really want to be? They like being out in these little open mots. That's where they like spending most of their time. And so we're going to actually set it up to where we don't think they're going to be actually traveling behind us. So when the wind's hitting us in the face, it's going to be perfect. We've always done a brush blind in the past and we've built a lot of them and we can build some really cool brush blinds. But sometimes the ease of a pop-up is just, you know, you pop that thing out of the box, you put a little bit of brush around it and bam. I mean, all of a sudden you've got this place that's perfect for hunting. It's got plenty of room, a couple people can hunt. You can even, in this stand right here, it's so big you can even get three in there, but two without a doubt. And it's just gonna make, it makes life a lot more simple. To wrap up this episode, we're going to talk about one more device that comes in handy more often than you think when it comes to getting to your stand in the dark. There's not a hunter in the world that hasn't gotten a bit turned around when heading off in the morning to a new stand. And that's where something like a Garmin handheld GPS can show you the way. Alright, you know one of the things that we all think it's easy to do, but a lot of times it's not whether you're walking ATV, side by side truck, whatever mark all your parking spots where you're coming and going at. You know, it's very simple to be able to use like a, a handheld GPS like this to go, okay, here's my stand and here's where I'm going. You can see the Colorado River running right there. Then as you zoom in, you'll see my markers on where we're hunting and where we're not. I've got a marker right there on where to park at. You can see that's where we're at right now. I mean, I'd like to say I'm perfect and I haven't driven by a lot of places, but I have. The fog, the darkness, everything looks different, you're thinking. But by doing something like this, I know exactly where to park. Then I can mark where my stand is as well, name it, and navigate right to it. Same situation. It's just easy to, to make that mistake of walking by. And that's why I use, you know, a handheld GPS on the way in and out to a hunting spot. The other reasons that I like to use it is after I take the shot and we're going down to begin tracking, I can mark exact places. Here's where the blood is, here's where we've gone, and it gives me data if it's one of those tracks that are really hard. Head on over to Garmin.com to learn more about Garmin's diverse lineup of handheld GPS devices. Like what you've seen in today's episode? Visit your local Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's and add to your collection of deer gear. That will conclude this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills 
We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs, so ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Protect it or lose it. 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 Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trader Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.